College football's regular season wraps up this weekend with some high-profile matchups, go blue, and big-time rivalries. But one team whose season finished this month is already looking to the future, not by exploring who is on next year's schedule, but by developing a new helmet that could make the sport more accessible and inclusive. Scott McFarland has the details. In the hard-hitting, hard-knocks world of college football for coach Chuck Goldstein and his team. First, we don't have a level playing field. We just don't. The game can be even harder. Your football coach doesn't wear a whistle. Nope. Goldstein's players are deaf or hard of hearing. Our players never quit. Student athletes at Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., a university for the deaf and hard of hearing. We won the conference championship last year. John Scarborough is team captain, communicating with us through an interpreter. It's one of the biggest sources of pride in my life. And I feel like we represent Gallaudet to America and to the world. The team uses sign language to call in the plays and the audibles. You can't stand behind a player and tell them what to do. Those little things that you don't realize when you're coaching on a hearing team. They made history long ago. It was Gallaudet's football team in 1894 that, by necessity, invented the huddle. Check, check, check. Uh, let's go nasty. But Gallaudet is plagued by penalties. You ever get a penalty because the play was over? All the time. From late hits and late snaps, unable to hear the refs and the calls. And it's trying to make a new type of history, testing a new 5G helmet made by AT&T, which relays a red flash when a play is over, or to alert the quarterback to look to the coach for the signs, according to athletic director Warren Keller. It's smoother communication, much faster to change plays, and a safer field for everyone's safety. And to relay a play from the coach's tablet to a visual prompt on a small screen inside. I can get his attention just by hitting one button, it flashes red, it's like an exclamation point. They were permitted once to test the helmet in a game this year. Now the Gallaudet Bison hope college sports officials will approve its use for all games down the road. For America's only NCAA football team for the deaf and hard of hearing, overcoming the hurdles is part of the winning. And when we beat a hearing team, and they always think low of us, and I can see their facial expressions when they lose, and that makes me proud too. You think the opponents underestimate you? Oh, always. Now this Bison football program's hoping for a different kind of win. They're hoping the helmet wins wider NCAA approval for wider usage in future seasons. And it's a program with a history of winning. They tied for the best record in their Division Three conference this season. For CBS Saturday Morning, Scott McFarlane, Washington. What a great story. We all said none of us knew about the huddle, didn't, that we didn't yeah. know that. And that technology, for them, amazing. I know, Michigan, sign stealing, everybody's thinking of it. If you had that technology I mean, in the, the helmet. Michigan fans are thinking no, about it. No, Ohio State fans are too. <laughs> but I'm saying that technology in the helmet they're talking about where you could see, yeah. that changes what you'd have to do on the sidelines for signs as well. Like there's so much in that technology that could be used by all teams. Yeah, and so, I mean, certainly that must be some of what they're thinking when they introduce this helmet. But can we just step back and talk about how amazing it is that you're playing football without the ability to hear? I know, I mean, I know. that's remarkable. Yeah, that they're is. able even to get one playoff. Yeah, second team called the Bisons I can root for. <laughs>